this is just a ride into the river offices today and we're really excited to see what improvements the Pico Neo 3 has over the Pico Neo 2 and does it have anything better than its competitors? So realistically, the only way to know is to dive inside and have a look. So let's start with the box. This is the box. It's a very simple, clean white box. It says Pico Neo 3 on the side of it and it has the image on the front of it of the Pico headset itself. This is a very, very clean packaging design that Pico seem to follow through with a lot of their products. So the outside of the box is like a sleeve so we can kind of just slide out the actual box that's inside and we'll do away with this outer packaging. Underneath there, it's got some text on the top of the box that says best in class, built for business. Lifting the lid on the inside, we've got a little card that says Pico Neo 3 Pro, built for business with their socials. And we've got a little bit of setup information here on how to get yourself going straight away. So let's do away with the box and have a look what we get inside this package. So the most obvious thing is the headset and there is a brand new design. There are some major differences from the Neo 2. Firstly, the front of the actual headset now has four visible tracking cameras. You also can see the design is a little bit more rounded on the edges and no longer does it have the glossy black panel along the bottom. But true to the previous version's design, you do still have this white and black front faceplate with the rest of it all in white, generally across the rest of it, with a little bit of hint of gray around the back part of the head strap. We've got a massive amount of padding as well for this area around where it will sit on your face. You've got the Pico branding along the side of the headset and you've got an adjustable dial on the back to be able to set the size of the strap to fit you perfectly. The lenses of the headset are adjustable, but only in three positions. Very similar to the Oculus Quest 2, you aren't able to change this with precision adjustment. We've now got two brand new controllers for the Pico Neo 3. Unlike the Pico Neo 2, where the controllers were, shall we say, a little bit different to this in the way that they tracked the headset and the way that they overall looked, these are now a little bit more Oculus Quest 2-esque, but a little bit longer in the handles. Definitely do like this design of controller, so hopefully this is a major improvement. The new controllers require two AA batteries per controller. Now that is different to other headsets in its class and with the Oculus Quest 2, you only required one. That said, I hope that the fact that they both need two batteries means we've got extended battery life, which is always a positive. And finally is likely to be the cables. So let's have a quick look. Inside we've got a little instruction manual and we've got a power brick. This one is a European power brick, but because it is a USB, we are able to easily find another power brick to get it charged here in the UK. We've got two controller straps to make sure that they're not going to be flying off whilst you're using the actual headset system itself. And we've got a brand new USB type C cable to USB type A for charging and data transfer. Let's quickly run down the specifications on the Pico website for the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Starting with the processor, this now has a Qualcomm XR2 processor. This particular model has six gigabytes of RAM 
and it has a huge 256 gigabytes of onboard storage, more than enough to be able to store numerous games and 360 video. There's an LCD panel on the inside of the headset with dimensions of 3664 by 1920, with the screen having a PPI of 773. And the all important question, what's the refresh rate of the headset? Well, it can go up to 90 Hertz refresh rate, which is pretty amazing and on par with its competitors. The current field of view is 98 degrees and you've got some really, really robust inbuilt speakers into the head strap. Unlike other competitors in the market, this has a really, really strong, robust head strap that comes as part of the package with the adjustability with that dial and the ability to be able to basically have a very, very comfortable feeling headset with the battery being on the back. That gives you a much better balance on your head. The Pico Neo 3 now supports Bluetooth 5.1 and it has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. The Pico Neo 3 now has support for NVIDIA Cloud XR services. This is an amazing addition to allow you to have business related integration. One thing that really sets it apart from its rivals and particularly in the business space is its ability to have a display port connection, allowing you to display what you're doing via HDMI or display port out to a TV. Unlike its rivals, the Pico Neo 3 Pro has an array of buttons on the actual headset. Its rivals unfortunately rely very heavily on either hand tracking or the controllers to be able to interact with the headset. But because this doesn't have hand tracking, it really does require the need for buttons if you haven't got the controllers to hand. That's not a bad thing. Realistically, it gives you very quick input ability and some of the things that are good about this over its rivals are the fact that you can interact with content without the need to always be in sixed off mode. The display port connection is on the top of the headset opposite to the USB type C charging port. On the side of the headset, you've got a couple of buttons here that will allow you to access the menus, reorientate yourself. So the last thing to do is to put this on my head and see how it feels comfort wise to give you a better idea of whether this is the right option for you. And we'll also switch it on and have a really quick check of what it's like when it boots up. After spending a little bit of time playing around with the Pico Neo 3, I really enjoyed having the opportunity to play around with it. It's definitely a really good option if you're looking for a VR headset, but you're not so keen with maybe competitors restrictions, or you're looking for a really solid business option. This is a really decent headset. As it stands at the moment, I'm not too sure about the overall pricing for the Pico Neo 3 Pro, but when I do, I'll make sure to leave that in the description down below of this video. With that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will do some more videos with more updates about how this performs in the near future.